local news that matters. This is CBS 17 News. The Raleigh skyline continues to change, and not everyone is happy about that. Good evening, everybody. I'm Rod Carter. I'm Angela Taylor. Thanks for joining us. Tonight, people brought those concerns to the city council. CBS 17's Lillian Donahue joins us live with what proposes for the city and what some people, why they're pushing back. Lillian. Well, definitely the skyline could be changing. And with dozens of people moving to Wake County every single day, development like this one behind me is all around us. But there are some communities pushing back, concerned about building high in the sky in the city. Development is a hot topic in Raleigh. Developers want to invest in Raleigh. We are in the driver's seat. We need to set the expectations. With the Census Bureau estimating Raleigh to grow by more than 20% over the next eight years, city leaders have looked to accommodate housing needs by allowing more townhomes and denser buildings. Tuesday night, Raleigh City Council reviewed 10 rezoning requests, the majority of which would bring higher buildings, more housing, offices, and shops. The city approved increasing the possible height for two downtown buildings up to 40 stories, while still preserving a longtime downtown restaurant and bar, the Berkeley Cafe. I just want to say good work. Thank you. You listened and um, appreciate what you came back with. But the group Save Our Neighborhoods still worries that the denser zoning could mean increased costs of living in the city and losing single family home neighborhoods. We can have something for everybody in our town, and we don't have to uh, strip away all of our zoning laws and redo the city with a sledgehammer. While the group says they're not against development, they want to see the city put even stronger requirements on where companies can build and how high. It, it provides a lot of diversity and vibrancy to our town, and that's great. All we're saying is that you don't have to put the apartments right in the backyard of a, of a single-family home. That's all. Mayor Marion Baldwin said that the city is going to host a public work session on October 18th to address affordability and housing concerns. Reporting live in downtown Raleigh, Lillian Donahue, CBS 17 News. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, Lillian.